graphing linear inequalities. Um, there's a couple ways, and by the way, I don't really care how you choose to graph the line, just do what's more comfortable for you. If you prefer to graph the y-intercept and use the slope to find the other points, then do it. That's especially useful if we are graphing uh, a line or an equation or inequality that is in slope-intercept form. If it's in uh, standard form, then we can find an intercept maybe, or both intercepts, and graph both of them. Just keep in mind, right here, right? If there's no equal sign, then it's a dotted or dashed line. If it does have an equal sign, then we have a solid line. Then we'll choose a point to test, just like we did on that last problem. And if it makes the original inequality true, then we shade that side of the line that the point is on that we tested. If it's false, then we shade the other side of the line. So this one, for example, we could change this into slope-intercept form. Um, yeah, let's do that. Most people prefer that way. So I would subtract 3x from both sides. And I would have uh, 2y, I'll write it over here for the space. It's greater than or equal to 8 minus 3x, or 8 plus a negative 3x. This allows us to flip these around from the commutative property, so I got a negative 3x plus 8. The only reason I'm doing this is just because it's the formal form of slope-intercept form. So divide everywhere by 2 now. And we divide it by a positive, so it still remains greater than or equal to negative 3 halves x plus 4. What this does is it gives us the y-intercept and the slope the y-intercept being at 0, 4, so I can graph that point right here. All right, on the other hand, though, we do have the slope, which is a negative 3 halves. So that tells me from this point, I'm going to go down 3, because that's my change in y, and then to the right 2, that gives me my next point. And if I continue this, I can make a stair step down 3 to the right 2, down 3 to the right 2, which tells me all the points on the line that will work. I can continue it this way by going left two and up three as well. And that gives me this line. I don't know, something like this. After we get this line, we should know, is this a dashed or a solid line? Yeah, this one's solid because it's equal to. And finally, we should test a point I am going to test 0, 0 because it makes it very easy. And I'm going to test it on the original inequality, not the one that I created in slope-intercept form. So what this does is it gives me the point 0, 0 to test. And again, if it's true, then I shade the same side of the line that that point is on. If it's false, then I shade the other side. So on this one, I've got 3 times 0 plus 2 times 0, this should be greater than or equal to 8, and so I got 0 plus 0 is greater than or equal to 8, 0 is greater than or equal to 8, that's false, so I know that my test point is a false statement, and therefore I really should shade the other side of the line.